All right, thank you for coming to office hours. Thank you, good morning, gentlemen. So we are going to take a look at the last Google form uh, for this week. So hopefully everyone has the, uh, the that third Google form already opened and ready to go. I am going to share my tablet. Okay, so let's take a look. Mm. So for the last, I would say, three weeks, right? What what do you what what has been the um, what has been the major theme of um, all the assignments and all the lessons? Circles. It has all been circles. We've been talking about chords, and then the um, and then the angles that are formed between chords. And uh, how it relates to the um, the intercepted arc and so forth. Okay, um, but we talked about these circles um, that are on on a plane. We haven't talked about these circles uh, on a coordinate grid, which is what we're about to look at right now. So after going through this, okay, just remember you should definitely also watch the videos that I posted um, in the. Uh, in the note taking assignments, you should definitely take notes on this again, um, just you know to watch it again and to, and to take notes on this, okay? But I'm gonna give you some notes uh, with this assignment as well. So if you have paper and pencil handy, that would be great, okay? So have that ready. I'm gonna give you a little bit of notes, okay? Okay, so uh, what we're gonna do, okay, is we're gonna talk about a circle on a coordinate grid. So what I want you to do if you have graph paper, this would be even better. But if you don't have graph paper, that is okay. And um, and what I'm going to do is on this grid, I'm going to draw something like this. Okay. Actually, I'm going to move this over. Yeah, that will work. Okay. So, <clears throat> what we want to do is we want to describe the circle on a coordinate grid. Now, in order for us to accomplish this, okay, we need to know a little something about the circle, okay? We need to know where this circle is positioned, okay? And not only where the circle is positioned, but there's another dimension that we have to know. Guess what that dimension is? Again, we're trying to describe the circle on a coordinate grid. We need to know where the position, where the circle is oriented. And then there's one other dimension we must need in order to fully describe the circle. What dimension do you think we need to describe the circle, guys? Is it the coordinate Radius? dimension? Well, the coordinate, we need a coordinate for the center. Okay, but we need one other dimension. Now, a coordinate is not a dimension. A coordinate is just like a location, right? But we need a dimension. We need one thing. I think Emmett uh, said it. Did everyone hear what Emmett said? The radian, right? We need a radius. We need a radius, okay? We need a radius. So we need to know what the radius is. So here, okay, in this case, okay, um, what's, the, what's the coordinate of the center? Guys, what's the coordinate of the center? Four three. Four three. Four, three. It's four three. Um, Chris, what's the what's the length of the radius? Two units. It exactly is two units. Thank you for that. It's two units. Okay, so the 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 length of the radius, okay, will be two units. Anywhere we go around the circle, agree? Right. Okay. Everyone agree with yeah. that? Kian, do you agree with this? Yeah. He's just muted. Yep, I agree. You agree. Thank you for that. Okay, so uh and our goal is to be able to determine all the points, okay, that are outlined in the circle, right? So I don't know what these points are on the circle, but I do know this. I do have this understanding. 
that is whatever the points may be, okay, the coordinates of the points will be x comma y. Right? Again, I have no idea what are all the what are all the points on the circle, okay? But I do understand that the points on the circle will be some x and y coordinate, okay? So so tell me, um, what is the distance between point x comma y and four comma three right now? Uh, maybe I'll ha I'll ask um, maybe Ricardo. Ricardo, are you there? He is not here. He's muted and not present. Okay. Uh, maybe maybe Dylan. What's distance between point X Y and the center? Uh, uh, two. No. It is in, it is indeed two. It is two. Okay. So the distance between point X, Y and the center will be two. Now, what I want to do is I want to express this somehow in an equation. Again, one more time. I want to express this somehow in an equation. So how do I express the distance between point X, Y and the center for comma three? Any, any, anyone have any thoughts? How do I express the distance between point X, Y and the center for comma three. There's a formula that sounds exactly like what we want to do here. I want, again, the goal, what I want for the next like 30 seconds is to find an equation that describes the distance between point X, Y and the point four comma three. <clears throat> There's a formula again that allows me to find the distance. What's that formula called? The distance formula. There you go. Thank you, Emmett. It is in fact the distance formula. So, Emmett, do you remember what the distance formula is? Yeah, I think it's uh, uh the square root of uh x what uh, one minus x two squared. Um, plus um, y2 minus y1 squared. Uh, you know, I own my <laughs> Okay, so we're going to slightly modify this, okay? So right now, okay, the distance between x comma y and 4 comma 3, okay, that distance is referred to as, starts with letter R. Um, the word I'm fishing for starts with letter R. The distance between x comma y and the point and the center four comma three. We don't call it a distance. We call it something. It starts with letter R. Radius. That's a radius. So I'm going to replace D with the letter R. Okay. So the distance, okay, between the center and some random point on the circle is R. Okay. And actually, I'm going to slightly modify this. In order for me to get rid of the square root from both sides, what do I have to do to both sides? Square. Did I hear someone say square? Yeah, Dylan's mother. Was that Kira? No. Who that was, was that? Dylan. That was Dylan? That's the background. That's the background. Okay. Yeah. So in order for me to get rid of the square root, guys, what do I have to do? I need to do what to both sides? You need to eliminate both sides? I need to square it. I need to square both sides. I need to square both sides. So in order for me to square, in order for me to get rid of the square uh, square root, I need to square both sides. And I'm actually getting really, really close to, to figuring out the equation for the circle, okay? So let's say I call this, um, I call the points, okay, on on the circle there, okay, I'm gonna call this not just x, y, but I'm gonna call it x1 and y1, okay, let's say. And the point in the center here, I'm gonna call this x2, y2, okay? Cool? If I do this, okay, if I do this, okay, 
the um, the point on the circle, which is x1, y1, mm. I'm just going to call that, again, that's x minus, what's x2 again here in this case? 4. It's 4. It's x minus 4, quantity squared, plus y minus, what's y2? 3. It's 3. What's the uh, length of the radius again? 2. It's 2. Gentlemen, this right here is the equation for the circle. This is the equation for this circle. This is describing all the points, okay, that are on the circle here. So if I were to if I were to generalize, okay, if I were to generalize um, where uh, where I want to describe the uh, equation for any circle, okay, where I want to describe the equation for any circle, this is what I would do, okay? The circle equation goes like this. So the circle equation on a coordinate grid <clears throat> goes like this. <clears throat> Gentlemen, what, what do you think a, a comma b represents? The central angle. This is the center. This is the center. A comma b represents the center and r here represents what again? The radius. The radius. So this, gentlemen, is the equation for the, for this uh, for a circle on a coordinate grid. All right. All right. So now that we have this understanding, let's take a look at some uh, of the problems for today in this Google form here. Okay. So it says right now that Wait, the center of the circle is. Notes. Say that again. I'm sorry. Oh, and I uh, finished writing down the notes. Okay, sure. Thanks. Hang on. Everybody have this? Just go to the if you don't. real quick. Yeah, I have it, yeah. Whipped. Almost done. For this assignment, actually, it would be easier if you guys did have uh, a sheet of graph paper so if you if you don't have graph paper in front of you actually I think it would it would help immensely if you did get if you did get some so why don't we take like 30 seconds if you if you guys can get some graph paper just because it will be visual it will make more sense visually um, why certain things work the way yeah. they do I'm already writing it on graph paper and I awesome uh, Thank you notes. so much being super responsible. Michael, do you have graph paper? Would the graph notebook also do? Graph notebook will do perfectly. Kelvin, you have? Yep. Awesome. Chris, you have? Oh uh, yeah. Yeah? Okay. Everybody else has? Preston, Dylan. Yep, Ricardo. I got it. Okay. Yep. Okay. Emmett? Yep. All right. So let's take a look. Um, all right, so now this question here, question number one, it says the center of a circle is 0, 3, and 4, 3 is a point on the circle. Which of the following is another possible point on the circle? All right, so let's just plot this out to make sense of this, to make heads or tails with this, okay? So what I'm going to do is I am going to move these notes over because we don't need this momentarily so i'm going to move this aside actually i move it up okay so let's plot this out okay let's plot the situation out so if i have again an x y grid and what I want to do is I want to plot 0, 3, which is located right here. 
And that four comma three is located right here. Gosh, this is so similar to the problem that, uh, to the demonstration I just made. Isn't this similar, guys? It is. It's very yeah, similar. Yeah, so similar, isn't it? All right. Maybe so, even the center, uh, even the coordinates are the same. Four yeah. three. All right. So now look. So right here, okay. This the, the question is asking for uh, which of the following is another possible point on the circle. So let's say let's try to let's try to um, draw the circle, shall we? Right. Um, if if this is the center right here, this is the center. Okay, that's the center, and this is a point on the circle. This is a point that's on the circle. What's the length of the radius? Four units. It's four units. So from the center, I'm going to go four units up. But also, I need to go four units in which other direction? Left. I need to go four units to the left. Thank you, Kian. Anywhere else? I didn't I said it. Oh, Michael said it. Thank you, Michael. Down. Okay. Anywhere else? Should I... Uh, can I go? Down. Down, of course. Point. Four units down. So I have a circle, okay, with these four points that are, like, definitely, okay, on the circle. And as a matter of fact, I can actually draw it out like this, okay? This is going to be my circle here. All right. So looking at this, okay, looking at the options now, which of the following is another point on the circle? Guys, which option would satisfy this the best? Which is another point on the circle? Is it 0, 7, 7, 0, 0, 7, negative 7, 0? Which one would satisfy this the best? 0, 7. The first point. 0, 7, of course. I totally yeah. agree, Michael. Thank you for that. Thanks. Okay. Cool. Everyone have that? Yep. What was it again? Oh yeah, option A. Right, Chris? Do you understand why? Yeah. Okay, because we can see it clearly here. Zero seven here is a point that's on a circle, which is why I said, you know, plotting this stuff on a on a coordinate grid will make most sense. Okay? All right. Let's take a look at it, the second question now. All right. The center of a circle is five comma negative four and has a radius of three. Which of the following is not a point on the circle? So, let's try to do this again. Oh, I know what it is. So, so gentlemen, can you say you did it already? Yep. It's actually, um, oh, should I say the answer or do you want to go, go over it? Hold on. Let's, let's draw it out first and then I'll let you explain, okay? Mm -hmm. 5 comma negative 4. So, 5 comma negative 4 is going to be located over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and has a radius of three. All right, Kian, can you tell us what to do here if the, um, if the center is located at five comma negative four and the radius is equal to three? Can you tell us like the other points that, um, that surround that center? Like, um, okay, so, so this right here is the center, mm -hmm. and this is five comma negative four. Well, it can what, what, are, what are the other points that, can could, go... that are on the circle? Left, up, down, and right. Like we left, up, down, and right. How many units? Three units, because the radius three. is three. That's right. We're going to go up, down, left, and right. Three units. Thank you for that. And and again, we see this. Okay, that's our circle right there. All right, and this unit uh, and that coordinate there is five comma negative one, and this is going to be. Uh, 8 comma negative th 4, this is 5 comma negative um, 7, and then this is going to be 2 comma negative 4. So looking at this, okay, Kian, which, because uh, you said you got it, right? Can you explain which one is not going to be on the circle? It's 3 and negative 4 because um, it's, two, it's a two-point difference from... Um, the center, not a three-point difference. Cause That's three right. Point difference three comma negative radius, four. Not two. That's right. Three comma negative four is located inside of the circle here. 
right? So, mm -hmm. so that point is the only one that doesn't make any sense. Five comma negative seven, five comma negative one, eight comma negative four. Those are all points that are on the circle. Not bad, right? Michael, how are you feeling? Good about it, yeah. You're feeling good about it? Yep. Okay, let's take a look at the next one. A circle passes through four comma three and negative six comma three. The center of the circle is located at negative one comma three. What is the length of the radius? So here I'm telling you that the center is located at negative one comma three, which is this guy right here. And uh, four comma three, which is this point right here. And negative six comma three, which is this point mm -hmm. right here. Okay. Uh, what is the length of the radius? Just looking at this. Maybe. I got it. Yeah, Dylan. Uh, five. Five. I love that. Good job, Dylan. Thank you. All right. All right. So this is the part of the uh, the Google form where things get really serious. You guys ready? Okay. So here it says that the endpoints of a diameter are three comma two and negative five comma negative two. Where is the center of the circle? Where is the center of the circle? Now there are two ways that you can approach this. Okay, you can approach this. Well, you know what? I want to give everyone here maybe thirty seconds to see if they can figure this out. I know everyone has it in them to figure it out. So I'll give everyone 30 seconds. Go. All right, so anyone here have any strategies for this question? Maybe we could do a reverse of what we did a while ago. Well, you, you really don't have to say that circle. again. You just have to plot the points and then just like find a distance between them. Once you do, plot then you have to find say, that again. He, say that again, Kian. I said you really don't have to find a circle. All you have to do is just draw <clears> the distances <throat> and just figure out how far apart they are from each other. How far and then apart? From there, are from then another. you'll find a center. And then find a center. That's right. That, sun, that center has a, a, a synonym. We're looking for... What's the radius? The, the, no, not the, not the radius. Diameter. The center is the midpoint of the diameter. Isn't that right? Yes. So really what you're looking for is the midpoint between the two points, guys. Okay? So what you're really looking for, again, is the midpoint between the two points there. So Kean's right, okay? All you have to do, you can do this visually if you'd like, okay? Or if you want to do it algebraically, you can do that too. I'm, gonna, I'm willing to guess probably most of you guys did it visually. I'm going to approach it algebraically just to remind you guys that, you know, the, uh, the midpoint formula uh, should still be fresh in your heads since you guys are all being promoted into Algebra 2 next year, okay? You will need to know how to use the, distant, uh, the, the midpoint formula. Okay, so let's check this out. So if this is, if I'm calling this x1, this is x. Uh, I'm sorry, not y2. I'm calling this y1, and this is x2 and y2. Then the average, right? The midpoint will go like this. It's x1 plus x2 divided by two. Y1 plus y2 divided by two. So I take three negative five. And I take 2 and negative 2. 
So the x coordinate turns out to be negative 1, and the y coordinate turns out to be 0. That's all it is. It's negative 1, comma 0. All right. Moving on. The endpoints of a diameter are 3, comma 2 and negative 5, comma negative 2. What is the length of the radius rounded to the nearest tenth? I'm going to give everyone here maybe another 30 seconds to, fit, uh, to try to complete this one because I know that everyone here has it in them to do that. Okay. Go ahead. Take 30 seconds. Okay, so I got it. It's four point two. You got twelve point two? Four point two. Four point two. So what's your strategy, Michael? Um I just counted like from uh, in the victory from three to negative five and I found out it was it was um eight. So that's what I did and then just and then just divided by two since it's the radius and four point two is the closest. That's that's not the answer. So, so Michael, you have you have like a visual way of thinking about it, okay? But we need to be a little more precise, right? So, so Emmett, what 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 tools did you use to refine that approach a little bit? Uh, well, what I did was the distance formula, so that yeah. I can find what it, like find what the diameter was from the endpoints, and then I could find the radius from that. So like, you add everything up, you get uh, eight. You square root of eighty, and then you divide that by two, and then. So Michael, you have the right idea by you know eyeballing and counting to see what it is, but because the options here are so close, you know it does require you to be a little more precise with um with the approach. So here I would recommend using either the Pythagorean theorem or the distance formula to find out what that actual length of the uh, of the diameter is. How does the Pythagorean this. theorem apply? It's not a right triangle. Your your yeah. you know. So if I if I were to do this right, Michael, three okay. comma two is located over here, and then five negative five comma negative two is located over here. And then if I were to connect these two. Right, and if you notice, Michael. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. okay. I get it now. Okay. We can then approach it like a Pythagorean theorem problem. Cool. Yeah, I got it. Okay, so in this case, we have square root of we have square root of eight, eight. squared plus Four squared, which turns out to be the square root of six. Uh, what is that? Eighty, right? Yeah. And when you when you punch into the calculator, this is not going to be a radius. This is going to be a diameter, right? It's going to be like eight point nine something. Yeah. So it's going to be somewhere close to nine. So if you if you take if you take half of that, this would be the closest then, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, now, Michael, if if this if the multiple choice um, options offered numbers that were like 
dramatically different than what you did there as a really quick, quick and dirty, you know, kind of, kind of way of approaching it, that would definitely work. But in this case, because the options are so close to one another, you know, it really does force you to, you know, use a, a, a more specific approach, a more refined approach. Okay. Okay. Got it. All right. Let's take a look at the next one. It says that the endpoints of a diameter are three comma two and negative five comma negative two. What is the area of the circle rounded to the nearest thousandths? So we're dealing with the same endpoints, yeah? Yes, we are. If we're dealing with the same endpoints, how do we find the area of the circle of of this circle here? Use the use the circle um, uh, area formula and then plug it in. Like, and what, would that, what would the area circle formula be? Um, uh, pi times radius squared. That's it. So, oh. what's the radius, Michael? Four point five. Michael, can you figure it out for us? Okay, sure. Okay. 20.25. 20 and then you need to multiply that by? Pi. And giving you? 63.585. There you go. These numbers were drastically different, so we didn't need to do anything. Like That's right. <laughs> yeah. Okay? Okay, got it. All right. So I want to stop the recording here. All done.